This is a video about how to insert a subcutaneous line or a subcut line into a patient. First of all, we need to have all the equipment. This is a subcutaneous line. We'll need some gauze and some tape in case we have to remove and start again. There's a cap, an alcohol wipe, a dressing, and some gloves. When we're inserting a subcutaneous line, we want you to put it, put it on either the shoulders, the abdomen, or the thighs. When we have coronavirus and the risk of um, spreading this, we'd like you to put it either in the abdomen or the thighs if possible. So starting off with the equipment here again, we're going to open up and get everything ready. So this tray here peels back. And we'll open this gauze. This is a cap that allows us to inject medication into the subcutaneous line easily. We want to keep everything as clean as possible. So we'll just open and then leave it here. When we insert the subcutaneous line, we need to wash and dry our hands thoroughly and then put on gloves. Now that we've got all of our equipment set up near the patient, we can come to the area that we'll be putting the subcutaneous line in and we'll get our alcohol swab to clean the area. For this video, we're going to use the arm, but like we said earlier, try for the thighs and for the abdomen if possible. So go for an area that doesn't have any hair on it and that the skin is looking good. So we just rub for a few seconds and then let it dry. When we prepare the subcutaneous line, you can see that on the butterfly, the blue section, there are some blobby bits, some rough bits. These rough bits indicate the bottom of the subcutaneous line. This is important because we need to have the needle the right way up. And what this means is that when we take the cap off, we want the sharp and longest part of the needle at the bottom of the needle. And the blobby bits are also at the bottom. So we hold it with the wings like so, holding on to the grippy bits. And we come back to the area that we've cleaned. We're gonna start off at a 45 degree angle and we're gonna go in a few millimeters. Then we flatten out the needle so that it's, it's lying closer to the skin and we push forward until the blue reaches the skin. Then we use our non-dominant hand to hold the wings down and to secure and keep it in place. While we get our dressing, what we do with the dressing is that we peel away and we pop it over. Now we can be hands free and deal with the rest of the procedure. So we just remove these bits here to help it stick down. Now we need to remove the end of this cap. So it helps to have that in place. And we pull at the bottom all the way. And this will take and remove the needle with it. So this removes itself and the needle is contained and we can put it away into our sharps container or by the side before we're ready. Now we need to check in here, in this middle section where the flexible tubing is, to make sure there's no blood. If there's blood, we'd like you to call the hospice and ask for some advice. Now, we need to remove this cap, the clear part, and replace it with our purple cap which is easier for us to inject medications with. We need to do this in a clean manner. So what we'll do 
is hold the blue and we're going to remove the clear by twisting firmly away and removing that out of the way. Keeping the blue section safe and then there we're going to take our other cap we're going to hold and remove this plastic straw tubing you just remove that then taking the end that had the straw in it we're going to put it and connect it with the blue by pushing in and twisting firmly again now this end is ready for your injection or your syringe to connect to.